All right, well, welcome to this session of maritime medicine, and we'll talk about some gynecology and early pregnancy emergencies, things you might have to deal with shipboard or in the remote setting. And by the time we're done, you'll be able to list two gynecologic and early pregnancy emergencies. So the first and most important thing to remember and we discuss this when we talk about abdominal pain as well, is that any female of reproductive age who still has ovaries, who still has a uterus, needs to be tested to see whether or not she's pregnant if she's complaining of abdominal pain. This divides our emergencies into obstetric type emergencies or gynecologic or possibly gastrointestinal emergencies. Now, because we're talking specifically about OBGYN, we'll just divide into those two categories. We discuss abdominal pain elsewhere. We also talk about baby catching, that is late pregnancy and delivery elsewhere, and sexually transmitted diseases elsewhere. So remember, female, childbearing age, even if she says that she can't be pregnant, unless she doesn't have a uterus or she doesn't have odor ovaries, she can be pregnant and you need to test for pregnancy. So we'll start with obstetric, early pregnancy issues. Her urine pregnancy test or UPT is positive. This is typically gonna be a surprise, um, particularly in the maritime environment where women are not supposed to be shipping out pregnant. Uh, they shouldn't have known pregnancies. So any new pregnancy diagnosis should be a surprise for the patient and for you. And so with abdominal pain and newly diagnosed pregnancy, you can't tell where the pregnancy is inside the uterus, which can cause some abdominal pain, or outside of the uterus, what's called an ectopic pregnancy. In addition, if there's any vaginal bleeding at all, they may be miscarrying. That is the pregnancy that's inside the uterus may be aborting and that's what's causing the pain, the cramping, and the bleeding. But it could also be an ectopic pregnancy. And the problem with ectopic pregnancies is depending on where they implant, and it's typically inside the fallopian tube, as they grow and they get a good blood supply, when they rupture, the woman can bleed to death. So unless you know for sure that the pregnancy is inside the uterus, you have to assume it's outside and is threatening her life. So, if you've got a woman with abdominal pain or she's got vaginal bleeding and you diagnose her with pregnancy uh, because again they they shouldn't be shipping women shouldn't be shipping if they're pregnant um, so you've diagnosed them with a new pregnancy they've got abdominal pain or they've got vaginal bleeding or they've got both talk to medical control if they have completely normal vital signs they're otherwise stable the pain is mild to moderate you still need to evacuate them, but it's not an immediate life threat. But if they're sick at all, they have a high blood pressure, a high heart rate, a low blood pressure, they've got a lot of bleeding, they are, uh, they're in severe pain, you need to evacuate those people immediately because if the ectopic pregnancy ruptures and they continue to bleed into their abdomen, they can bleed their entire blood volume into the abdomen and bleed to death. Now, if they're not pregnant, so you've done your urine pregnancy test, it's not pregnant. We we discuss gynecologic and genitourinary type problems like urinary tract infections elsewhere. So you have to consider all of those, but you also need to think about some specific gynecologic issues. So women can have abnormal or excessive vaginal bleeding. Typically, this is not something that's brand new for them. Uh, they may have a history of this, uh, excessively heavy periods or bleeding between periods. So you need to talk to medical control. If this is truly hemorrhaging, um, they need to be evacuated. If this is not hemorrhaging and they have normal vital signs, they may be able to get through this event without needing any further care. Uh, medical control may advise you to give them uh, a high dose combination of oral contraceptives and then you have to scrounge around to find some to treat them but discuss it with medical control now if they're not pregnant and they're complaining of abdominal pain 
you consider the gastrointestinal issues, you consider the genitourinary issues. The one gynecologic emergency that we worry about, something called ovarian torsion. Just like the testicles can twist around their own blood supply and testicular torsion, they can also twist around their own blood, the ovaries can twist around their own blood supply and get what's called ovarian torsion. And the ovary will die in a few hours. These are incredibly hard to diagnose. The, the classic description is as the ovary twists, there's severe pain and then it untwists and then it, it doesn't hurt and it comes and goes. The reality is that it can be just about any abdominal pain, a low, uncomfortable pain, intermittently stabbing and sharp pain. Most ovarian torsions are missed. If it's not diagnosed and the woman doesn't go to surgery in the first 24 hours, she'll lose the ovary. The good news is, is that it doesn't affect fertility if she still has another functioning ovary. But the bad news is, is you really don't want to lose the one ovary and then be at risk for losing the other ovary at another point. So it's something that needs to be considered. It's something that needs to be discussed with medical control. It's going to be very, very hard to make that diagnosis. Okay, so those are the major obstetric and gynecologic issues. Uh, please complete the knowledge assessment associated with this educational session.